So welcome everyone to this uh, open day online event. I'm so excited that uh, to be doing this for you guys because I often get a lot of the same questions when people contact me uh, to find out about the courses. Uh, so I thought, well, why not do this? And then you can always jump on or you can watch the replay um, whenever it's convenient for you. Um, so make sure that you stay till the end because I've got a nice little surprise for you. And uh, this is something that I give all of the teachers that do their qualifications with us. This is something I give them towards the end of their course. So you will be receiving that as well um, for those of you that stay towards the end. So anyway, um, let's get started. I just want to make sure we are on that one. Yes, yeah, so I just want to make sure we're working. So I'm recording this. Um, so if you do miss it, um, I will be sending an email with the link to the recording so that you can watch this when it's um, suitable for you. Um, so what I'll be doing through this is I'm going to be sharing my screen quite a lot. So we know it's a bit dark. Um, internet at home at the studio was shocking. So I've quickly had to race home um, so I could open lots of things. Um, right. So let me just share my screen. This is always exciting as well <laughs> right so let me just Oops. going to make sure you can see that and um, please if you're online say hello so I can see who's there and I'm not talking into the abyss <laughs> right so that's uh, looking good there so like I said I have got another computer here so if you see me looking to the side I've just got another computer set up just to make sure that if I come off zoom that I don't lose you guys on Facebook uh, but I am recording this as well so after this you will get a recording and then you can um, watch it again so welcome again to this um, online open event um, in the old days we might have done some um, in-studio open events where you could come to the studio and try a class but obviously with COVID um, it's changed how we can do a lot of things and of course especially if you don't live close by this can be quite handy to have this online and then you don't need to drive six hours to go and um, visit something or see something so in the next 60 minutes what i'm aiming to teach you is you're going to learn all about the course structure time commitments uh, so that you can see that teacher training is something you can do. So when I was looking at my teacher training, I thought it would be like six year qualification and I thought it was something way beyond um, my capabilities. So I'm actually going to take you step by step through the course so that you see that this is actually very achievable and something that you can do. So hi, Karen. Um, don't worry, darling, I will send a link for this and then you will be able to watch it and it will be a video so then hopefully any connection issues um, should be avoided. And I've got Shell, I think I've spoken to you online, Shell and Emma. Hi, Emma. <laughs> um, so let's get started. And like I said, if you've got questions, just pop them in the comments as we go along, because at the end uh, we'll have like a Q&A session and then hopefully that will answer all your questions. Um, and help you to be able to make a better decision for yourself. So um, this is for you if you feel overwhelmed by everything that's on the internet. So whether you're looking at your Pilates teacher training, whether you're looking at your yoga teacher training, there is so much online. And if you were like me, I didn't know what different, what the qualifications meant. I didn't know what they, you know, like a 200 hour or a 500 hour or a body control. I had no idea what all of these things meant. So again, when I started looking on the internet, I got really overwhelmed and quite lost. And then I didn't do anything because I was like, well, I don't really know what I'm doing. So uh, this webinar again is for you if you feel just like me. So a lot of what I'm teaching you today or taking you through is exactly how I felt when I was looking at doing my teacher training. So 
uh, like I said, perhaps you've uh, researched loads of providers and there's a ton of different qualifications. So what qualification do you need to teach in the UK? Um, so what would help you to teach in the studio? What would help you to teach in a leisure center or start your own classes? So what are the criteria that you would need to, uh, to be able to teach within the United Kingdom? And this is for you, if you were like me, you wake up, hate your job, or perhaps you just have no passion for your job and you really want to find something that fills your heart and you wake up and you're excited to do it and uh, you enjoy your job. So, you know, apart from when I was in the police, me running my studio, yes, it is hard work, but it's not hard work when you're building your own dream and when you have such amazing clients like we do, it really is going to spend a couple of hours with a bunch of friends, you all move, you have a laugh and I get paid uh, to do that and it's the same with the teacher training courses we have such an awesome time in the teaching training courses it is a lot of work and it's um, very thorough and intense but we absolutely love it and if you can find something that you truly love and enjoy and feel rewarded for they really do, you never have to work as such like Paul and I always joke about working that funny word it's like what is work <laughs> and I want that for you okay so uh, keep watching and we shall uh, work through this. So just stand by. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's just have a quick check with everybody's here. So does that sound like you? Maybe it doesn't sound like you or, oh my God, are you drunk? I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. So let's just see what people come up with. And like, because I know the three ladies online, I know that they're probably doing a hell yeah. Oh, I've just jumped over there. So if you're excited about becoming a teacher but you also want to puke or poo yourself when you think of having to stand up in front of a group that was me and i'm going to tell you a little story about that one um maybe you're struggling with not feeling good enough to be a teacher so that one always crops up um and you want a career doing something that you love and enjoy and you get to help people at the same time so let me tell you a little story about me when I first started. I'm not one for public speaking. <laughs> I used to get horribly ill at the thought of having to stand up in front of, you know, like at school, in front of my class. And when I joined the police force, I had to do a presentation to all the senior police officers. I honestly wanted to vomit and shit myself at the same time. I really did, like sweaty armpits, sweaty bra, sweaty crotch, everything used to be like bad. So when I first did my teacher training course, my intention was never to teach classes. It was to do private clients. Um, because Paul was doing massage and he found that a lot of people do need like, I say proper Pilates, like clinical style Pilates. So that was my intention, but I did start teaching classes and now I absolutely love it. And I don't like teaching one-to-ones at all. I send them all to Paul. So I know that sometimes when you're thinking of doing your teacher training, just the thought of having to stand up in front of a group of people can be really, really scary and almost put you off doing your course. But I promise you, we do lots of fun exercises that help you to get over your nerves. And when you start your own classes and they're your own clients, you build a relationship with them. And it is like now, I absolutely love it. I love having a group of people. I love the energy in the class. So, you know, have faith that you can stand up in front of a class and you can have that confidence as well. So I just want to take you a little bit about, tell you a little bit about me. I'm not going to spend too much time on this and just like give you an idea of who I am or who are we and um, our own history. So I'm an ex-police officer. As you can see, I like to take my job very seriously. <laughs> uh, you have to have a bit of a sense of humor in the police. And in 2014, I had PTSD and being a police officer was my lifelong dream, and it was all I ever, ever, ever wanted to do. And I would have never seen myself do anything else apart, be, apart from being a police officer. 
2014 came along and I had post-traumatic stress disorder. And at the same time, Paul was being made redundant from the police. So he was a staff uh, civilian member in the police force and he was being made redundant. So come October, 31st of October, 2014, we both resigned. Um, and then Paul took the redundancy package that he was offered and I left. So I was teaching at that time. I was teaching th uh, 10 classes a week alongside my 30 hours in the police force. Um, so that was a huge decision to have to say goodbye to a job that I really did enjoy, most of it. And we found this really old derelict building. And as you can see, it literally was just four walls, it's not even walls, four pieces of wood all slashed together. <laughs> and it needed a lot of work. So we put every single uh, credit card we had, every loan we could get, everything. We just maxed out all of our credits. And yes, most people go, oh, that was risky. But I never, ever felt that it wouldn't work. I had 100% faith that we would be okay and it would work. So we then went on to open the studio. And as you can see, this was our first class um, after lockdown. So everybody was on their mats having a cake. And what we noticed over the time that we've had the studio, when we wanted to get other teachers to come and teach for us, is that the standard of teaching wasn't very good. Um, and what I mean by that is like, I could tell you in that class that you can see in the picture, every single one of those clients has a medical condition that has been taken into consideration when we're teaching them. And unfortunately, a lot of the teachers that we were having teaching the clients didn't know how to manage these conditions. So then that got us onto the path of, well, why don't we do teacher training? So I then um, applied to YMCA, who are one of the largest um, certification certificate providers in the country, and they're also worldwide. And I applied to them to do teacher training and then we were approved and accepted for that. So that is a little bit of our journey as to how we've come from police background all the way into this. And then Paul, he, even though he was in the police, he used to do uh, sports massage and injury rehab on the side as well. So his passion comes from when he used to go, he used to be a very, very good runner always injuring himself and then never being able to get himself fixed. So he decided, well, he's going to try and fix himself. So his journey started there and he went and he did his sports science degree and injury rehabilitation stuff. So his anatomy, he's not here right now, so I can say it. His, an, his um, anatomy knowledge is absolutely phenomenal. And I guarantee you there's very little people in other courses that have that. So we're quite lucky that we have him on our doorstep. Um, so here's just a picture of Paul in action with um, a class uh, that's a Pilates teacher training uh, course that has just finished and they've all qualified. So that's really awesome. So moving on. So that's just a little bit about us because sometimes it's like, well, why should we listen to you or um, who are you in the grand scheme of things? <laughs> um, right. So what are we trying to achieve here today? So what is it that I'm hoping to um, achieve for you. So number one, I want you to see that being a teacher is, is, is possible. I've only had um, three people in the last six years that have not qualified as a teacher. One person had a car accident and decided it wasn't, they didn't want to finish their qualification. Um, one person um, is going to come back and just finish the last little section. And then another person, um, they've had family members with cancer and stuff. So they've decided just to put that on the back burner. Um, I've had people that have been diagnosed with cancer on a course and then we've just put it on hold and then they've come back after the course um, to finish it. So even though we run our course over four or five months, you have actually got two years to finish the course. Okay, so it is really possible um, if this is really something you want to do.
I also want you to see that you can actually earn a living from doing something that you really enjoy and you feel satisfied with. So when I was in the police, I didn't really feel satisfied. I didn't really feel like I was making a difference. I was arresting the same people day in and day out. Um, and the only time I really had this sense of achievement was if I got a drink driver, if I called a drink driver or something like that. It was the only time I really felt like I was doing any good. And now, even yesterday, I had a client come up to me who's been with me for about six years now, who's just said, oh, the classes this week has helped me to walk a longer walk without being in pain. And I get such a nice buzz from that. So you will really get um, a good income and proper job, job satisfaction. I'll give you a lot of, um, what's the word I'm making, sense of value. You know, you value yourself. And then number three is I want you to be the best teacher that you can be so that clients flock to your classes above everyone else. So like I said earlier, we've had quite a few teachers come in to teach for us. And it's like, you have got no idea how to deal with this person has got a hip replacement or that person's got scoliosis. Like some people will have like a basic understanding, but because our target market are older people and have all these age related issues, and hip replacements and knee replacements, um, for us it's quite important that our teachers know exactly what they're doing. And this is a part of the course that we take you through as well, but I'm going to cover that a little bit later. What am I doing with this thing? So, <laughs> why is this important to you now? Okay, so where do you want to be in one year, two years, or five years? So, when I did my teacher training course, um, my Pilates one, I was going to do it with a friend. And then she decided, oh, no, she's too scared. She's not going to do it. She's still in the same shitty job. So this is going back 10, 11 years, 11, yeah, 11 years. She's still in that same job. Whereas I've come out of the police. Uh, this supports Paul and I, and we don't work 47 hours. We probably work about 20 hours each per week. Um, so where do you want to be in one year, two year or five years? Okay, and only you can make that decision and only you can answer that. Do you still want to be stuck in a job that you hate and that's really hurting your mental well-being and your confidence and your love for life? I have been in one of those, not so much the police force, but I have been in a job where I would cry every morning when I woke up. And that's not a healthy way to live. It's awful. And it does lead to depression and everything else. So you really want to enjoy what you're doing and you want to wake up to something. Okay. And you don't want to miss out on those precious family moments or things like picking your kids up from school or having the afternoon with them. So again, being a teacher, you can create the business around exactly what you want. And I'm going to show you some um, of our previous teachers and how they've created their business. So it just gives you an idea of what you can do as well. So by the end of the session today, you will see what is achievable to you and whether or now is the right time or not the right time to pursue your dream. There will be information at the end of this, because it is Black Friday, uh, for those that are ready to do their teacher training. So I've got a really juicy offer for you guys. And then... Like I said at the beginning, if you stay till the end, I'm going to send you a link and you can download this document that I actually give to our teachers once they've qualified. And this document will help you to get everything ready for your classes and how to be best prepared for your first class. So I'll be sharing that document uh, with you. Uh, so what I want to talk to you about now is before we go on to just the, the books and the training manuals and all that stuff, um, just having a look on the other computer. The mouse doesn't work. <laughs> it's Paul's computer. Who knows what he does? Okay, you're all still good. Um, so, um, yes, there's some things that we believe need to be in place or we should have or shouldn't be able to do before we can do our teacher training. And I'm going to now break those myths down and cover them. Okay, so number one is I need to have years of experience to become a teacher. 
there are pros and cons to having years of experience. So uh, let's put it this way. So on a previous yoga course, and this isn't a reflection on anybody, I'm just putting the in, I'm just sharing uh, our experience with you. So on a previous yoga course, I had someone that I've done yoga for 20 years, but they've only done it online. And then when they come to the studio, the technique was shocking, to be, <laughs> um, to be honest. And it was a lot of work for this person to break out of those old habits and to retrain themselves, okay? And then on the other hand, I'm going to introduce you to someone who never did one Pilates class before they did their teacher training. And that's Paul. So he did his Pilates teacher training because I made him do his Pilates teacher training. He wasn't really, didn't really want to do it. But at the time, I just could not start any more classes in the studio myself. I needed another teacher. And I also was trying to get him to quit his horrible job, which he had between the police and the studio. And it was an awful job. He was working four nights a week, two off, 12 hour nights. They were horrendous. So I was trying to get him to finish that. So if we could start more classes, we could make the income and then he could uh, join in the business. He had never done a Pilates class before and he really did dig his heels in. And But now he thinks he is Joseph Pilates reincarnated. He absolutely loves Pilates. He loves the whole ethos behind it. He loves how Joseph Pilates thought. Um, and he does resonate a lot with Joseph Pilates. Like I said, he does think he's Joseph Pilates reincarnated. So for Paul, apart from the anatomy, it was quite a challenge for him to learn because he had to learn the exercises. And even now he gives the exercises his own names because he can't remember that. So, but fortunately for him, he did have the anatomy side. So it was easier for him to learn in terms of the anatomy, he just had to start getting his head around the, the name of the exercises. So you don't need years of experience. There's pros and cons to having lots of experience and there's pros and cons to having no experience. For us personally, quite like a blank can canvas, it's easier for us to teach people that haven't got these, um, like the old habits and preconceived ideas, okay? It's almost like when I did my driver training, they want to tear you right down to the little bits so that they can teach you um, their way. Not that our way is the best way, there's lots of different ways. So next myth, and I love this one. Just want to make sure you come up there, yeah. So you must be able to do all of the exercises in order to be a good teacher. And I love this one, okay? So I wanted to show you somebody quickly. And maybe if you've had my emails before, you might recognize this. So you all know who this gentleman is, Usain Bolt. Do you know who Usain Bolt's coach is? And maybe you can see the bottom of my screen very tiny. <laughs> I had to Google who he was because I didn't know who he was. His name is Glenn Mills this gentleman here, and he has never, ever, 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 ever won a medal in athletics. Never. So now my question is, do you need to be able to do all the exercises in order to be a good teacher? Well, I would suggest that Glenn Mills would say, no, you don't. So I've got another lovely example for you. Let's have a look at these ones. So we all know uh, these two sisters, the Williams sisters, and that's daddy there on the left. He has never won any Grand Slam titles, any big matches or anything like that. He did have some training in tennis, but he has never, ever, ever won any matches or any big matches. Um, so, so that I'm sure you would agree that he did a really good job uh, teaching his daughters how to play tennis. So try and get away from this idea that just because you can't do a certain exercise doesn't mean you can't be a teacher. Okay, so what we do on our course 
is we do some, and I'm not going to give you all the juicy information what we do on the course because some of it, it's like, um, it's just for our course and I don't want to share it with the public. <laughs> but we will do some training exercises to teach you how to teach without you doing the exercises, okay? Um, I remember I was teaching one day and I had a really bad urine infection. I couldn't even get down on the floor. Um, what about if you're eight months pregnant or uh, maybe you broke your wrist or you break your ankle? So we still want you to be able to teach even if you can't do an exercise, okay? So you will be taught how to do that. Uh, you know, and we also want you to realize that you're going to have clients in your class that can't do everything and you will be able to empathize with them. And the way we teach, you will be able to show them the same as we will do with you on the course is how you can do the exercise or how you can modify the exercise uh, so that it does fit for you. OK, because one thing that we really highlight on our courses that is my nine week old puppy. Can you just keep this off, please, love? Yeah, of course you can. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> um, what we really emphasize in the course is that our bodies are all different. Arm length, bone leg, and this is specifically um, yoga teacher training as well. Lever length can impact a pose in huge ways. So we don't want you standing there saying what some teachers say, oh, just keep practicing, you'll get there eventually. You may never get there because your arms might just not be long enough or something like that, okay? <laughs> Shush you. You just come back from a little walk. So you don't need to be able to do all the moves. So don't let that cut you off if you can't touch your toes or there's something that you, um, you may not be able to do so well, okay? So, myth number three is all courses are equal. No, they are not. So on the screen, I've just put some of the major brands that you will see. So you've got Stock Pilates, Body Control, Polestar, Bassi, Future Fit, and then YMCA. Stock Pilates, Bassi Pilates, Body Control, and possibly Polestar. These are probably the four big ones in the industry. Uh, but come, um, anything that comes with a big industry name also comes with a big price tag. And most of these will require you to have some kind of membership with them after your training with them. Um, and then Future Fit, they, a, um, so they're not so much like YMCA where um, different companies come in and train on behalf of YMCA that I just use YMCA's content but I run my own business with Future Fit they are the teachers that work for Future Fit um, so that's Future Fit and then of course there's YMCA um, now within that so let's say Future Fit and YMCA and even Body Control Plots there's a lot of the content is the same but how we deliver that content can be very different okay so here's where our courses is slightly different to what maybe some other people do. Is we run a studio. It's our business. Uh, we have um, 100 clients or whatever it is. And we come a lot across a lot within the business. So on our teacher training courses, we share as much as we can about what happens in real life with you so that you're prepared for when you go out in the real world. So we're not like a college that just spits out 600 qualifications, or they, I call it like the jack of all trade. They don't teach personal training, gym instruction, Pilates, yoga, aqua, um, stuff like that. So they just whack out the um, uh, qualifications. We really do specialize in what we teach so that we know that, because number one, when you're a teacher and you go out and teach in the big world, you carry our name. So I want to make sure that you know your stuff and that you are a good teacher. Okay, so that's just a little overview of these three, um, uh, these um, providers that are out there. So you might have recognized some of the names. Just like when I first started, I was like, <laughs> Karen, I've just seen your comment. Paul does look like reincarnation of Joseph Pilates. You should have seen our first online class in lockdown. He came out in white underpants. 
I'll have to find <laughs> videos somewhere of that one. <laughs> So um, like when I first was looking at teacher training, I was like, oh, body control, what is that? And I thought it was a style of uh, Pilates. And there is a difference between stop Pilates and body control, slightly how it's taught. Oh. But um, I wouldn't say there's any best out there. I know some people think they do. There's just different. Um, and it depends on really what you're looking for and obviously how much you are able to invest into your training. Um, so, moving on, uh, when you look at a training provider, so um, I always want to make sure that you have all the content, or all the information that you want, so that you can make the best decision for you. And usually what happens then is the people that come onto our course, they really do enjoy the course because they've had no doubts. Yes, they might have reservations like they're not good enough or anything like that. But I would rather have someone come in and go, yes, I want to do teacher training with you rather than, mm, I'm not sure. I would rather you wait until you are sure or find that school where it is a big yes for them. Okay, so um, we're very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I want you to be 100% sure and you need to go with what's in your gut. So go with your intuition, your instinct. You'll know when you speak to people which ones you prefer, which ones you don't prefer. So five things to note when picking a training provider is do they walk their talk? So I kind of spoke about that in terms of do they offer 6 million training qualifications or are they a specialist in just a few? Okay, who do you want to learn from? Maybe it's not important that the people you learn from are specialists. Maybe you just after a tick the box certificate and that's perfectly fine. There's no judgment with that. Um, check what support do you get through and after your course. So I've been on a course where I was only allowed to email on Fridays. I've been on a course where there was no email. I was only allowed to speak to them on my practical days. Um, and then I've been on a course where I could speak to them at any time. So just check what support you have. So like with us, you can email me anytime. And if we need to have a phone conversation, we can. And you also get access to a WhatsApp group through the course. And um, then after the course, you will get put into a private Facebook group. And this is where all our teachers are that have qualified. So Perhaps in two months down the line, you go to a class with somebody there with an issue or you're not sure how to deal with it. You go into that Facebook group, you ask the question and somebody will help you. So you still have that support after you've qualified. So when I did my teacher training, I was just like, off you go. <laughs> but fortunately, because Paul worked in injury rehab and stuff, he was able to help me with the anatomy side of teaching. So... What training resources are you offered? So just like very quickly, because I will show you these again later. So for YMCA, uh, you will get an anatomy book. Okay. And this anatomy book has got little pictures in and all sorts. Um, you'll get what's called an LAR. So yoga gets one and Pilates gets one. And then for Pilates, there's a little training manual. So these are the YMCA stuff. We have our own library of content that we've made ourselves that YMCA have approved that you will get, okay? So some schools will just give you YMCA stuff, there's nothing else. And then, like I said, um, I don't know about other places, but we have that whole library of online content, which I will show you uh, shortly. So check, what do you get with your course? What experience does your tutor have? So um, I don't necessarily agree with this, but it is there. So to be able to become a tutor, you need to be teaching for two years. So you could have someone who's been teaching 10 classes a week for two years. So you can imagine how many classes that is, 500, maybe 1,000, 2,000. Or... You can have someone that's been teaching one class a week for two years. Which one's going to have more experience? Um, so you just want to check what experience do the tutors have? Like, have they just come off of the course? Are they, 
you know, what kind of clients have they worked with and where have they worked, all that stuff. And then how much teaching practice do you get on the course? So when I did my teacher training, I got to teach in pairs. And then I taught for about 10 minutes on one slot. And I had 10 minutes for my assessment. And then another part of my assessment was to teach a private client for an hour. Okay. So, and then I was like, oh, well, there you go. You're qualified. You can go and teach group classes. So it really wasn't much. So just check how much teaching time do you get on a course? So for us, you get a lot of teaching time. So by the time you get to weekend three, you're up there, you're standing with confidence. Actually, weekend three is my favorite weekend. It's just teaching. And I know that sounds really scary, but like I said, I promise you by the time you get to uh, weekend three, um, we see a huge shift in the confidence of our teachers on weekend three. And I always say it's when teachers, students, student teachers, they become teachers. It's usually on weekend three when we have like um, a, a lot of stuff on that weekend. So you will get lots of practice time. And again, that's another reason we don't make our courses too big so that you, everyone has uh, plenty of time to practice. And like I said, I know it's scary and if I was sitting in your shoes now, I'd probably have butterflies, but don't panic too much. Uh, Natalie, yes. So Natalie, yes, you can, I will send you the link and then um, you can get back in touch. So, um, so we have a system that we use on our teacher training course. And the system we developed, it builds your knowledge, your skills and your confidence without getting overwhelmed or stressed. And so that you can qualify by March, 2023, even if you think you don't have time. So this is for Pilates and then for the yoga, the course is running a little bit later um, in the year. Okay, so the system that we use is called the STTS system. The first part of that is you go and you study. So once you register with us, you get everything, I'll send you all the stuff and you start to study. The second stage is you come to the studio and we train you and we take you through every single exercise that you need to learn for your qualification. We break it down, how to teach it, how not to teach it, what you need to be aware of and some variations of it. Then the third stage is that you get to practice all those teaching things. And like I said, we do this in pairs and small groups and bigger groups. We have lots of fun little exercises to try and to, not to try, to help you to get over your nerves. And I promise you they do work. Uh, we see it every time. And then the fourth one is you do your assessment and you succeed. And then you go off and you teach your classes. So this is the system that we have created and that we use um, very successfully to get all of our teachers qualified. So like I said, in the last um, six years, in the six years, it's only three people that have not qualified. And that's not because they've failed. It's just because they've either chosen, you know, they've got personal issues going on um, and they've chosen not to continue the course. But we've never had anyone fail as such, okay? Um, I've had one person that failed their assessment only because they changed their lesson plan the day before the assessment and they didn't hit the criteria. Um, all we did then is just get them to teach one exercise. Um, so that wasn't the end of the world, fortunately. She was a very good teacher. <laughs> so let's go through this. So you'll study, like I said, you'll get all your learning materials from us. And now this is where I'm actually going to take you through our very own learning materials because we've worked very hard behind the scenes to, to create all of this and to put it in a way that is, um, you know, nice for you to, to receive it. So yours will look slightly different because this is the back office to my um, site. And I'm just going to wait two seconds because I just want to make sure that you can see it. Hopefully everybody's 
things are still working. Okay. I'm just having a look quickly. There we go. So I just wanted to check there. So from here, now I've set this up as in week one, week two, week three, but it doesn't really work in that way. If you have I've set it up, so there's two kinds of people. There's someone like what I call Paul. He's a cat person. He likes to take his time with making decisions. He needs everything step by step um, for him to finish. Otherwise, it's too much for him to um, think and he gets overwhelmed. Or you get people like me, which I call a dog person, where they like to receive everything and to get it all over and done with. Okay, so this is set up, so it doesn't matter if you're a dog person or a cat person. So if you're a dog person, you can go in and look at everything. You can access all of these videos whenever you want to, okay? If you're a dog cat person, then you just start with one section. So there's a welcome video just to let you know about the first day, and then there's some um, accommodation and uh, directions. And then, you can start either the next day or the next week, and you can look at these videos. And this one here is just saying, get a folder, print these sheets or sign the sheets, put them in your folder. So that would be the things. Uh, the next one is the worksheet. So I'm gonna take you through the LAR. So there's only one worksheet there. Then the next week you could do the other worksheet. So it breaks it down step by step, and all the way through, and I'm gonna show you these worksheets now. So by the time you get to this one, all your work um, that you don't need to do with us, all your pre-work is finished. So then you've got a whole chunk of time to focus on your anatomy and physiology exam, okay? Um, and then I've put uh, some information about the practical days there. And so I'm gonna stop over there because I will show you that again. And it's the same for the yoga one. Um, now for the yoga and the Pilates, these three, so the three online worksheets, YMCA, YMCA, YMCA. Let me go on to my YMCA. This is the same, whether you do Pilates or yoga. If you have done Pilates before, if you've done this qualification, you don't need to do all of this again. Uh, for your yoga. So um, it's just up to those three. So that one, that one, and that one. If you do Pilates and yoga, you'll just need to do that once, okay, because they're the same on both the courses. So that's actually quite nice. Um, and then these are just multiple choice questions. So you click in there and whatever you get wrong, it'll bring back to you so that you can redo that uh, question. Then let me take you through the what's called a learner assessment record. And this is the Pilates one. So this is a document that you will receive. And that's over here. And you will receive a download version, version, <laughs> uh, version as well, in case you want to type on it. So you'll get both. And this worksheet, this principles of planning and delivering, that one, is the same in the yoga one as well. So if you have done your yoga practitioner or your Pilates practitioner before, you won't need to do that again. So we've had some people that's done both the courses with us and you don't need to do that. Um, so that is quite helpful. And then the second worksheet is, uh, oh, went too far, is principles and fundamentals of Pilates. And then the yoga one would be principles and fundamentals of yoga. Okay, so those are the questions. So ideally, if you can get all these questions done before the course starts, it's a load of work that you don't need to then worry about. So once you've worked through those, then you have your anatomy and physiology, and you can see there's mock papers. Okay, so that one there, um, 101 Parallel Coaching, those are 101 anatomy and physiology questions that you can practice with. 
And these are a load of mock papers that you can practice with. So you'll be able to, like I said, you can't really see on mine, but on yours, you'll be able to download them and open them and you'll be able to work through them, okay? Um, and then this is just gonna help you to get ready for your practical days. So this is how to take postural assessment photos, which we use on the first day. Um, we don't actually do that with the yoga course because the yoga course doesn't require a private client. However, because we honestly believe and because we run a studio, we really do think that a yoga teacher should be able to do a postural assessment. So even though technically it's not part of the YMCA qualification, we will still teach you how to do a postural assessment so that you can look after your clients um, properly. Uh, but the photos and that are just for the Pilates one. Um, and then, so uh, with your course, and this is more of a bonus, so again, this is all stuff that we've created. Now, this anatomy book is Applied Anatomy and Physiology, and it's, oh, but my tongue, it's a level three. Now, the only thing about this is it's not, Pilates and yoga specific. It's for any gym qualification. So if you did your level three here, you could go um, do personal training a, a certificate. You wouldn't have to do the exam again. So what we did is we created over nine hours of anatomy videos relating to Pilates and yoga. So how is it? How does it relate to Pilates and yoga? Okay. So that's a little bonus that you're going to get with us. Um, let me just make sure I've shown you everything. One, two, worksheets, yes. So let me just check. Okay, so you get all of that. I'll just try and hope I'm not going too fast there. <laughs> um, so what I've also done is sometimes working in that blue document, the LAR isn't always the easiest. And sometimes you don't want to be printing blue paper. I get really annoyed when you have to print color. Um, is I've just created templates for you on an Excel sheet. So if you know Excel, you can download these and you can do it on there. And there's some examples of how to do your lesson plans. Um, but I will look through your lesson plans and Paul will go through your lesson plans through the course. You will get one-to-one -one time with each of us as well. Uh, so that we can make sure that you're on the right path and um, if you need any help. So for the classical routine here, so this is Pilates, I wouldn't even look at this before you come to us because you'll have enough other stuff to focus on and we really want you to pass your theory assessment on the first day. So don't even look at all of this stuff. I'm just giving you an idea of what there is in uh, your um, online learning thing. So YMCA say we must teach you the classical 34. And this is the original work of Joseph Pilates. So here is all of these exercises that we do a video and then we do a tutorial. However, as we run a studio, and you will you may know from your own experience, is that many people cannot do half of these exercises that are in the classical routine they might have shoulder issues they might have wrist issues hip issues knee issues big boobs big belly all sorts of reasons why they might not be able to do some of the classical exercises so what we've done is we've actually created another library and like i said this isn't part of the ymca qualification this is something extra you get with us is we've created another whole library of exercises that you could use to help um, you know, people to do something in the class so that they, everyone's working, um, you know, doing something. They're not just sitting there twiddling their thumbs. So I'm just going to show you one of our books. Now, this book you'll get on the course. And it also comes in uh, the download version. So classical routine book. It also comes in the download version and you get this book. So again, these books we made ourselves, no one else has them. And I'm really proud of them because it's taken a lot of work uh, to create them. So you would have like the objective, 
um, action, teaching points, tactile cues, and then caution uh, what people need to watch. But what I'm most proud of is, and I don't know of any other books out there, is that you also get what can go wrong. Okay. So sometimes, like when I did my teacher training, I was like, oh, I don't know if you're doing it right or you're wrong. Whereas now you'll be able to see what can go wrong when someone's doing a particular exercise. And all the exercises have that. Okay. So this is the bonus book. So you can, there's a load of other exercises um, there. And then this is our classical book. So this is the 34 exercises from Joseph Pilates. And then we created another book and this one is a little bit more of the theory about relaxing and concentration, postural assessments, pregnancy, breathing. There's a whole little um, extra in here. So like I said, these aren't available to any other training school. These are ours, which um, YMCA have approved. And like I said, so they, uh, nobody else has them. And then for the yoga ones, um, Again, exactly the same as the Pilates one. You've got the exercises um, and then what can go wrong. Okay, uh, So you've got the position, we've got benefit, benefits, <laughs> modifications. Uh, it's been a long week. Uh, contraindications, so what you need to be aware of with poses. And then a little bit more than the Pilates book, but there's more visualizations and cueing. Uh, for these. So, um, again, strangely enough, YMCA we have chosen quite a lot of the harder poses as their compulsory ones. So, you also get um, a bonus one for your yoga one. And, and these are all in video in your podia. I don't know why they call it podia, such a rubbish name. Uh, these are all on podia. So, even when you've finished your training, because there's a lot to take in on one day of training, two days of training. Um, so, you know, maybe six months down the line when you got used to teaching, you can start looking at some of the harder poses and the harder exercises and then go into the tutorials and then you can go and watch them again. So you have access to this podio all the time. Just when the course finishes, then um, it doesn't mean you lose access, you keep access. There's a little bit on map placement and lesson planning. Again, there's a little bit more anatomy. Um, another bonus that we've done for our teachers. So this, again, is uh, not part of the course. This is a bonus section that we cover. Is a lot of medical conditions that you are likely to come across in your classes. Um, you know, unless you're working with elite athletes, Pilates does attract a certain kind of person because. Um, the exercises are more controlled. Well, it depends how you've been taught, but yeah, more controlled and you can look after people. Um, but again, this is relative to Pilates and yoga. Okay, so we try to make sure that we cover everything for Pilates and yoga. Um, I tend to teach my yoga classes with a lot more Pilates principles just to help keep clients safe. And then you get a bunch of classes. So and these can give you ideas for your own classes or just for you to practice different themes. So you've got warm ups, hip classes, shoulder classes, sciatica classes, and there's a bunch of um, classes that you can go through. And then we've actually recorded one course in full so that you can actually start watching day one, day two, and you can go through all of those uh, things. So you have that to refer back to. So I think, oh, I wish I could have recorded my training so that I, because you, you're not going to remember everything. And also when you listen to something once with a completely new mind, when you go back and you listen again in six months time, you'll hear stuff completely differently. So you can like just, you know, make it part of your development. Every six months, you're going to go through some of the videos and just rewatch them. Uh, let's go back to the webinar. So that's your studying. And then, like I said, on the training, we take you step by step through each of those exercises. And we also give you a bunch of alternatives and how you can do that. And sometimes, thanks, look, we get clients in. 
not sometimes, all the time we get clients in. And we try to get clients that have got a lot of issues so that um, you get hands-on experience with them and you don't need to worry because they do this all the time. They're quite used to um, the teachers, but we use it more as a workshop. Okay, so we, we have a discussion on how could you make this exercise better for this person when they've got a fused back or something like that. So we do get some of our clients to come in. And again, that just helps to build your confidence when you know that you've actually worked with some real people rather than just everybody on your course. And then you get to teach, <laughs> which will be fine. You and I'm not even going to carry on with this too much because I know because we've taken so many people through our courses that by the time you get to weekend three, the end of weekend three, you are super duper ready. Um, and then, like I said, you do your final assessment on week four and then you are good to go. So providing you've done all the other work that we've covered, you are good to go. OK. Um, yeah. So let me just go back one. So what I wanted to just cover now is just a little bit of the elements for the Pilates and the yoga. So we had a look at those YMCA worksheets, which were these ones. So Pilates and yoga have them. You also have an online uh, assessment on your first day. So you bring your laptop in and we cover that. We'll do that straight there and then. And that's what the mock papers were for. Then you have the two worksheets that's in the LAR, which is these ones. So that one will be principles of Pilates and the yoga one will obviously be yoga. And then you have that worksheet there. So there's those two worksheets. For yoga, you will have to do a 60 hour journal. And that is basically, um, how did you feel on the day? Did, like, did you feel like doing yoga on that day? Yes or no? Just a very brief, explanation of what you did how it helped you and how you feel so 60 hours of a personal journal uh, which you don't need to do in the pilates but for pilates you need to do your private client okay so going back to yoga you do your 60 hour journal and then there's a 10 week lesson plan and then you teach your lesson plan and that's it so the yogas there's a lot less in terms of the studio stuff like the lesson planning and postural assessment there's a lot less but your worksheets at home, they quite a lot more. Um, so I, I definitely for the yoga, I always say, if you can sign up like six months in advance, it gives you a good chunk of time to get all those worksheets finished. Because I think it's quite, you know, yoga history is huge compared to Pilates history. Um, and then for the Pilates, so you'll do your online worksheets, the two in that blue book, your theory test, then you need to do a case study. So you do your postural assessment and you write a lesson plan for them. And it's a 12 week progressive plan. Don't worry, we'll show you how to do it. And then you do a group teaching lesson plan. And then that's your Pilates one. Um, it sounds a lot, but through the course, we don't just throw everything on the first day. You would break everything down. So right this week, you need to have this ready. Forget about everything else. So don't worry, I just want to make sure that you have all the information that you need. I'm just going to take a sip of water. Oh, can you see that? Yes, just checking everybody's still good there. Fascinating stuff. Yes, I hope you think it is. <laughs> so if there was a way to get your own teaching qualification with our ESTTS system, so our study, train, teach, uh, succeed system and all of your resources instantly at your fingertips as well as the confidence and belief that you'll succeed would you take it yes or no <laughs> because now you can so um all you have to do is believe in yourself and have faith uh, we have done this loads of times with lots of other teachers and many of them, some people do the course just for themselves and often people have gone on to teach even when they've originally thought, oh, I'm just going to do it for myself. They have actually gone on to teach classes. So those of you who have faith and take the leap are rewarded with a really wonderful, wonderfully fulfilling job 
that you can build around your life and your family commitments. So not like me in the police, we had to ask permission to have a day off and you couldn't get the day off because something was going on. I decide when I'm work and when I have a day off. Today, I want the same benefits for you and I want you to have the choice, the freedom and the satisfaction. So I'm introducing the level three Pilates and yoga practitioner diploma where you gain knowledge and build your confidence. So the last thing I wanted to, I want to mention just about the practitioner is YMCA have upgraded all of their qualifications and some schools are still teaching the level three Pilates and yoga teacher diploma. So you really just want to make sure that whoever you're looking at, you are getting the most up-to-date qualification. Uh, they will be phasing out those other qualifications within the next year. So our course gives you the necessary skills to be a good teacher. It gives you the experience because we get all of those real people in to build your confidence. And it gives you the knowledge far more in depth than most courses out there. So you really can make a difference to your clients. And we do this without the need to feel stressed or overwhelmed. We really do make the course fun and enjoyable and you learn loads at the same time. And you can gain your qualification within four months, about four to five months, just depending on uh, holidays and all that. So even if right now you're thinking you're not good enough, I've heard that before. Even if right now you think you're not flexible, I've heard that one plenty as well. And even if right now you think like uh, I did, there's no way I can stand up in front of people and it seems impossible. It is possible to do all of this and get all those benefits without spending two, three, four, five years training to be a Pilates teacher. So I would like to introduce you to some of the teachers that have trained with us before. And the first one is the lovely Leanne. So Leanne has got Iliodal syndrome. And Iliodal syndrome is where uh, the tissues and the joints of the body are very lax and um, mobile. So it's almost like this extreme hypermobility. So it could be quite easy for her thumbs to dislocate, shoulders, anything like that. And Leanne, started doing Pilates and really felt the benefit of helping to strengthen her joints and then became a teacher. So she had, we gave her additional support to help her qualify. And now Leanne runs this most amazing business helping people with mobility issues. So she calls it Mobilates. Um, so she has got face-to-face -face classes and this teacher here on the right over there, Kerry, is actually one of, Leanne's teachers who came and did her teacher training with us. So she helps Leanne teach all of these classes. And then because of COVID, Leanne obviously took her classes online and still has this huge community of online classes for people that can't get to a normal class because maybe they have a disability or mobility issues or pain. So this is Leanne's whole business is around uh, you can see there for people living with pain, fatigue and mobility issues. So it's absolutely incredible. I'm so proud of her. Uh, another teacher that I would like to, you to meet is Kirsty. So Kirsty is a mum of a young child and she didn't want to be working evenings and all the other times of the um, day. She wanted her class to fit around her childcare. And that's exactly what she's done. So this is just one of her classes that um, she now teaches. And then for someone who hasn't really done uh, teacher training for classes is Siobhan, um, who wanted to learn more about yoga for herself. Um, and she is actually an incredible teacher. And I think she does one-to-one -one classes, but she, um, you know, she's just so good with clients and very caring and very loving. She is absolutely amazing. So those are just three people I've picked. Uh, we've got a ton more. Um, of teachers you can go and look on our website there's a load of um, stories there so let me run through just again with what is 
uh, what you get for on our teacher training courses. So you get your YMCA online learning module. You get lifetime access to Podia with everything recorded for you. So I'm always adding more to that. So you will keep that. And then, you know, sometimes I have ideas for other things and I'll add them on and you will get access. So you always get all the updates as well. You get 11 practical training days with us at the studio. You get your WhatsApp group um, and you get the Facebook group for support for during and after your course. Uh, you also get um, our training manuals. Like I said, they're not available to anyone else. These have been written by us and they are only available to our clients. Um, oh, Karen, really? Oh, she's brilliant, isn't she? So um, oh, I love it to pieces. She's just overcome so many mountains to get to where she is. Um, so you will get those uh, training manuals. And again, I'll just put a little picture there. <laughs> um, so maybe you could see better than in the book. So like I said, it's not just how to do something, it's what can go wrong. Because sometimes as a new teacher, it can be quite hard to see, or I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be looking at, especially when you have got very competent people on your training course, it can be a bit harder to learn that side of things. And then, well, bonuses that are not available on other teacher training courses is you get that whole library of those medical conditions, which we cover. And these are the conditions that we come across all the time in our classes. So you will know how to help people with that. Um, and then again, in your Facebook group, you can always come back and ask if there's something, um, you know, you might get something that's rare. Um, I didn't know what Iliodale syndrome was until I met Leanne. So, you might get something pop, uh, crop up. Uh, and then you get over nine hours of the anatomy videos, which are specific to being a Pilates and yoga teacher. Again, they're not available anywhere else. It's not part of the YMCA curriculum. This is just what we do. Um, so like I said, some courses are six days, some courses are 10, hours are 11. And there are some courses that are two years and they're more comprehensive courses. Some courses are 900 pounds and some like the fully comprehensive ones can be like up to 5,000 and they will cover all the studio equipment as well. So just as well, I'm not going to be charging you 5,000 pounds <laughs> or even half of that for today, but I'm still gonna be giving you 10 times more value, more hands-on experience and more confidence but there is a catch and because it's Black Friday, you only have the next seven days to grab this super offer um, before the price goes back to uh, 2797, okay? But you're not paying that today. Um, so all you need to do, if you wanna join us for either the Pilates, and we only have four spaces left for January, and we have eight spaces left for, uh, yoga and I should have the dates on me I will get the dates and I'll put them into the comments on Facebook uh, so if you want to book one of those spaces 350 pound deposit or one payment of 1997 or and that includes your deposit or you pay your deposit and five payments of 330 pounds okay so this starts from yesterday, 8 a.m. and finishes next, I'll make it next Sunday, maybe. Yeah, let's say next Sunday at 8 p.m. Um, and then the website will change and it will go back, okay? Um, so you will be saving over 700 pounds and that will give you your full Pilates and yoga diploma, uh, your practitioner diploma. So the reason I say you get this because some courses will want you to do like a prerequisite course first or you need to do this first or that first no with us you start with us and you finish with us once you've got your certificate you can go and teach in gyms studios and because it's ymca they are worldwide there are places abroad that you can also use this qualification which is one thing i like and then you get ac um, instant access and lifetime to all of the recordings and those bonuses um, are yours to keep. Uh, so 
it's only £1,997 uh, for the teacher training, which is crazy because um, I never charge that little, but as it's Christmas and my birthday soon. <laughs> so there's another bonus coming up for you. So if you want to pay in full and you want to do your Pilates teacher training, you will also get access to all of our small equipment courses, which are online. So there's the bands, there's the magic rings or rings of torture, as my clients like to call them, uh, foam rollers, balls, the green balls, and then hand weights, uh, weights. So you will get all of those five mini courses, those small equipment courses, so that you can keep your classes interesting and uh, fun for your clients. I don't know how people don't use small equipment in the class and still keep, I get quite bored. <laughs> so you need to be able to use some equipment. And then if you're doing your yoga teacher training, you will receive our yin yoga teacher training course for free as well. And that's also online. Uh, so that is if you're paying full for your Pilates teacher training or you're paying full for your yoga teacher training. Those are the extra bonuses that you'll get. So... If all of this course did was help you to find a way to love your job and feel like you're making a difference in the world or get you from doubting whether you could do your teacher training to confidence and excitement is a uh, thousand nine hundred and ninety seven a big amount to pay. It's not really, especially when you've had a job that sucks the life out of you or you've missed in those precious family moments because you couldn't get annual leave from your job or you've missed a wedding like I did uh, when my brother got married. Um, so um, really it's not a big thing to pay. And I promise you, it is such a rewarding job. Um, and so it's not really work. We always have lots of fun, don't we love? <laughs> so um, if you want to register, I'm going to put a link into Facebook for you so that you can see. And then, um, Uh, yes, you can take your, have a look. I'm just having a read of the questions here quickly. I need to put two mouses here. I don't know which one I'm looking at. So in the meantime, pop your questions in. That's everything I want to share with you about the course, uh, the courses. And um, I'm also going to put in that link that I said to you um, for your a free gift for coming. So I'm just going to have a read here. Do support this. Uh, so Emma, um, it's not part of the course, but I do have additional courses for those of you that really want to skyrocket your business and get clients fast and build an income fast. I have created um, more courses for that. Um, so just a little bit of background for me in terms of that. Uh, so I used to do business coaching for a multi-million pound business um, uh, company and I would help them along with other coaches to teach other fitness professionals how to get clients um, and how to get their classes fully booked. Um, I then moved away from them just to uh, focus on teacher training in the studio but what I also did then is I now have my own coaching clients so um, I have got my own courses that I've made. And in fact, they're on Podia here as well. So I can actually show you. Um, okay, so I've got your Get More Clients and I've got Facebook and I've got email marketing. So Get More Clients. This takes you through the seven step process of exactly what I use and how I get clients. So you'll see they discover who you want to work with. Then I take you through creating that marketing message, um, designing your offer, uh, pricing and packaging, um, offering your services, uh, different ways you can market your business and mindset. So I take you through every single thing of what I use in my business that I don't teach anything that I don't use. Um, okay, so Emma, I hope that helps you. Um, and then, so Karen, I was with Leanne in class as well. She was training, she led them to you. Oh, she's so good. 
Uh, can you jump weeks and go back to early weeks? Like in uh, yes, so you actually get, so Karen, I'm assuming you are talking about Pilates. Um, um, just, yeah. uh, so assuming you're talking about Pilates. So even though I've set it up as week one, week two, week three, you can go back and forward as much as you want. Um, and yeah, um, I'm just gonna go jump back this so I can show you. Uh, so like I said, so I've only set it up so it's week one, week two, week three, week four, but let's say over a weekend, you could actually sit and go through everything in one weekend, right up to the anatomy, okay? That's the kind of person I am. I don't like to have this workload of stuff, so I like to just get stuff over and done with. Um, so, but you, let's say if you get overwhelmed like Paul, you could just say, right, on Monday, I'm going to do this worksheet and I'm just going to spend a week going through that. And then next week, I'm going to go through that worksheet. Um, and like I said, some of the questions are like, what does it take to be a good Pilates teacher? So some of the answers will be in, so for the Pilates one specifically, some of the answers will be in this book. And then some of the answers will be on Google um so like i said and they're not like there could even be ones like um what's the benefit to using music in a, a class or what could be the disadvantage of using of using music in a class so some of them are a little bit uh, general knowledge um and there's some of them are no right or wrong it's your own experience oh wrong mouse <laughs> probably done two computers um, I just want to make sure I don't miss any questions. So yes, good to know, that's cool. Thanks, Emma. So, um, I think that is everything, ladies. Say ladies, because I don't assume there's a man on here. <laughs> Although if there is, gent, um, let me come out of this. Stop sharing. Brilliant. Here we go. So like I said, this is being recorded. So I'm going to put the link in the Facebook group. And then I'm also going to put a link in the comments to where you can go and download that checklist that I created. Um, and if you are interested in doing your teacher training, just get hold of me and uh, we'll take it um, to the next stage. If you want to have a chat, we can have a chat, but there'll be some information that I just need uh, for YMCA just to get you registered and then we can start. So remember, there's only four spaces left for Pilates in January, and then I've got eight left for yoga. And what I'll also do is I'll put the dates in the um, Facebook group for you. Thanks, guys, for your patience. I know we've run 10 minutes over. Um, is it 10 minutes? 30, 40, nearly 20 minutes. So thanks for your patience and for being with me. And you know where I am when you need me. So take care, guys. Bye.